Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to present Autumn Project here because uh, I think this is uh, quite special for me uh, after Corona uh, since 2020. This is the first event actually I, I physically visit the place and give presentation. Uh, so now let's start presentation and uh, I introduce myself a little bit. I'm Ling Li Zhu from a chief specialist from National Land Survey of Finland. And uh, I'm leading uh, Autumn Project, which is, uh, we can also call it AI project. And my background is I, I received my uh, master degree and the doctor degree in Ardo University in photogrammetry and the remote sensing field. And uh, uh, the Autumn Project, let's start, go forward. Sorry. Okay, yeah, okay, thanks, yeah. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the Autumn Project, why and the what, why we need this Autumn Project and the what is Autumn Project and the plan of the, our project and the status of the project. And finally, I will give a summary of the project, uh, of today's talk, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to. Okay, okay, uh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so now. Uh, so why did we need this project? And uh, now I give the this background information why we applied this project. First of all, in National Land Survey, we uh, topographic map updating is uh, very... Uh, like uh, annually, we have a lot of people working on that topic manually, which is very uh, labor intensive work. And also in National Land Survey since 2020, there is a new area image, uh, which is uh, collecting the area images, covering the one third of areas in Finland. And uh, there are a lot of data coming in every year and also new LiDAR data from 2020, which is uh, covering one uh, sixth of area in Finland. And uh, also in AI uh, applications, there, are, there is a big trend in using the geospatial, using AI for geospatial application. Oh, sorry, I need to go back. All right, so uh, what is the AI project about? So uh, this autumn project is a two year project which started from two, uh, the January of 2021 to the end of this year. The autumn uh, means uh, advanced technology uh, for topographic map updating. So in this project, we we are started to use AI like a deep learning techniques for national topographic map updating. And in this project, we are focusing on the buildings, roads, and hydrographic features updating. Yeah, so uh, this is the uh, project plan. We have four work package in this project uh, plan. The first one is the collecting the uh, training data sets of buildings, roads, and hydrographic features. And the second work, work package was about the deep learning method development for building road detection and also change recognition. And the third one was the deep learning method for hydrographic feature detection. And finally, the last part, we, 
we are going to have the evaluate the result uh, by the expert from National Land Survey of Finland. And the, during this project, uh, we focus on uh, the deep learning method uh, development. For example, deep convolutional neural network, transfer learning technique, and the multitask learning technique. Okay, so now let's have a look what uh, what's going on, what has happened during this project. And at the moment, we have collected a lot of uh, training data sets, or we have produced uh, more than 90,000 square kilometers, through also photos and the DSMs, and more than 2,000 kilometers uh, building labels and also more than 1,000 kilo, uh, square kilometers road training data set, and uh, plus 36 uh, square kilometers training data sets for hydrographic features. So those uh, training data, we, we have especially very high quality of the training data for, for our uh, project. And from the figure, you can see uh, usually in the machine learning or deep learning project, the getting training data took a lot of time, uh, much more time than the data we are using in neural network or the development for the neural network. So we have achieved quite a lot in getting high quality training data during the year. And also in technical development, and we have uh, developed uh, you use this uh, deep learning convolutional ne neural network for buildings and also uh, transfer learning te technology and the multitask learning technology. And uh, those has been uh, developed and uh, achieved quite a good results. And also uh, there are some things still going on for the hydro features and also change detection for buildings and the change detection for roads. Those are still going on. And here I uh, want to especially thank for the CSC uh, environment. I think we uh, in this project, we have used the CSC, this is a high performance computing environment. And uh, we got a great support from the CSC. And uh, we, we uh, thanks for that. Yeah, let's have a look what kind of training data sets we have. Uh, we have multi-sourced high quality training data sets from the images. So you can see those are all tra training data that we have uh, in, in our autumn project. We have the uh, buildings with uh, very detailed outlines and also we have uh, DSMs and uh, also we have a uh, LiDAR data and the uh, and, uh, uh, vectors, bu building vectors, and also road vectors, and uh, the vectors from the hydrographic features. So here, let's have a look overview of the method that we have used in this project. For building detection, we have explored uh, several different type of the neural network, like a unit, unit with transformers, and the unit with the transfer, uh, transfer learning. And the, during this uh, testing, and we, we noticed, uh, we compared the unit with the unit and the tra transformers, and we noticed like uh, uh, our result from the unit, it's uh, comparable with the the unit with the transformers because there's uh, one reason probably because the uh, unit with the transformers is uh, like for especially for large amount of the training data sets and the size of the training data affects the the results and why we do we did we use the transformers because in transformers the uh, it has been in recent years, it has been very popular in the machine learning and 
lot of applications. Uh, people say it's some rev revolutionary in the machine learning. So that's the reason we also try to keep up the uh, te techniques in the machine learning to use the latest techniques. But in our case, after our study, and we still uh, keep the the unit uh, without uh, transformers in our case, it's because we, we got a better result. And with the transformers, we got uh, good, like uh, we, we noticed that there are some good results for the big buildings, but there are some like uh, more false detection coming. So in that sense, I think we still remain the, the, our original method with the unit. And also why we studied this transfer learning, because the transfer learning is good for one, in the case we, we are lack of training data sets. For example, we have very a limited amount of the training data set. So we, if we use the transfer learning, we can use the pre-trained model from the existing uh, sources. Of, for example, like open data source and, and so on. And then we can use those pre-trained model and, and plus the local uh, data sets for training and to get the uh, good results. And later on, I will show you because uh, in, in more detail about this. And also in road detection, and we have uh, developed the multitask learning techniques. And we studied about uh, for the different type of the neural networks like UNET, Dense net unit and the road back net, plus uh, different colors with the different color spaces like RGB, HSV, RAB, and uh, YCBCR and YUV. So later on, also there are more uh, examples we'll show here. And then hydrographic features we have studied using uh, unit and for ditches and the streams and later on. Uh, there's one presentation we'll give by uh, Christine, and uh, he, he will introduce more in this topic. So this is a master's thesis about the transfer learning for building detection. Uh, from our study, we noticed uh, we, we studied the different techniques in the transfer learning, and we noticed uh, the size of the training data is a matter. If you have more training data set, uh, you get better accuracy of the model, uh, final model. So, and also with the same uh, amount of the training data set, and uh, if you use different techniques in the transfer learning, and you will achieve uh, quite a different kind of result, the up to 5% of uh, accuracy up if you choose the right one. So here is another case of the, our master thesis about multitask learning techniques for road detection. And uh, we, uh, in, in this study, uh, as I told, we have used a different network and also different type of uh, uh, color spaces data set. And we, we achieved quite a good result. And with multitask learning te technology, the good thing is you can have a multi input and also multi output. It means like for the uh, traditional unit, you only you can only like output like uh, building polygons, for example, from the neural network. But with the multitask learning, you can export like output with uh, both polygons and also uh, vectors. So, so you, you don't need to have this kind of post-processing. So this is the uh, advantages. Here, have a look at this uh, multitask learning. We, we use the uh, diff we tested with a different neural network and plus the uh, like a RGB. This is only one color space. So we tested and we, we noticed the road vac net achieved the, the best performance. And this is another example uh, study we, we, we had and we noticed like a, we use a different network and also different combination of the color spaces and achieve the quite a, a big difference of uh, 
uh, result. For example, if you see this uh, IOU, the uh, difference can be from the lowest to the uh, from the maximum and the minimum. You can see the difference can be more than five uh, percent. So I think uh, this uh, this is a good example and uh, to give people this kind of uh, uh, knowledge that uh, when you uh, to process the data set and uh, you have different options to use a different kind of, uh, to use the right combination of the color spaces and also the right uh, selection of the neural network. So it's important. And for the buildings, we uh, we have tested data for La Yasalo Helsinki area for our national land survey export uh, expert evaluation. So this is the area like we, um, more than 3000 buildings have been uh, de uh, delivered to the, our expert uh, last year and, and for the uh, evaluation. So here is the example of the predictor result and the vectorization. So the left one is the polygons of, from neural network, and the right one is the, the outline of the buildings. So you can see we can uh, achieve the very high detailed building outlines from our neural network. So here is the, shows the result evaluated by our National Land Survey expert. So. Uh, basically, uh, here I only show the two cases, but uh, actually our expert uh, compared our atom project result with the, the five different type of the data set. And, uh, um, and for the evaluation of the buildings, we, we also got like a pixel based uh, result, like F1 score in your network with 0 0.953 uh, F1 score. And also uh, for the object-based level by the National Land Survey expert. And uh, I just, uh, the, there are some Finnish sentences there. I just copied from, directly copied from the report and the, then give uh, and, and the show here. And, but I can explain a little bit about this thing. Our autumn project was pro um, compared with the uh, building uh, RHR symbol symbol database, and we got 97.9 percent of the building uh, detected by our project. And also, the second one was uh, our pro our result was uh, compared with the topographic database uh, building vectors, and uh, then we got 93 percent of the buildings were corrected. Uh, correctly de detected, and there were. The, I have checked the, uh, what's the arrows come from, and the, is there any possibility to uh, to improve the result? And the, from the uh, the report of the evaluation, and the, it touched some uh, buildings with arrows, and the, like uh, some buildings existing in the topographic database, but not exist. Uh, not detected in the our project, and uh, I noticed that there are many kind of cases which, like uh, in forest, for for example, like uh, some even uh, I may say even use uh, human eyes from the image, it's very difficult to recognize it because it's under trees. So it's uh, basically quite many cases like uh, the buildings, it's not uh, visible in the images. So in that case, I may say what we achieve at the moment, it's the best uh, result to what we, we, we can. Here is the overview of the result from our uh, object, uh, our project at the moment. And we have received quite a good result for building detection. And also we got good result from the uh, road detection and uh, also quite a promising result from uh, hydrographic features. So as a summary, so Autumn Project is dealing with the topics of building detection, road detection, 
ditch and the stream detection and the change recognition of buildings and the roads using deep learning techniques. So far, we have achieved excellent results from building detection and the results were evaluated by National Land Survey expert. 97.9% accuracy has been achieved. So there have been two master thesis accomplished and the third master thesis is on the way. And uh, there are some other plan is coming and we, we will present uh, in Force 4G 2022 conference and uh, our paper with the academic track has been accepted. And also for road detection result and we'll go for expert evaluation in coming months. So that's all uh, information from our autumn project. And uh, thanks. Thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the chat and I can answer uh, later. Thank you.